Hi everyone. Thank you so much for submitting your questions under my post and on Instagram stories a few weeks back. Uh, there are some many great questions, but I also left some of them out to cover them in another video, uh, just because the answers to them would be too long for this Q&A. If you are new to this channel, my name is Asia Orlando. I'm a freelance illustrator. This is going to be my first uh, Q&A video. So I would really appreciate uh, your like, your comment, and you can subscribe if you want. <laughs> uh, let's see. The first question is from Dani. Um, and she asks, how did you know you wanted to become an artist and what inspires you? Um, I always knew I wanted to um, do something creative and illustration and drawing was always something that I loved doing. Um, as for the second part of the question, I'm mostly inspired by nature, uh, but I also think that our surroundings are um, an excellent source for inspiration. The second question is also from Dani. Uh, how did you find your style? Um, I think this is the most common question and I've been receiving it a lot. It's very important for us to have a distinctive style through our work and I will make a full video about it soon. For now I can say that for me style isn't something permanent or stagnant because it evolves all the time. And I think the best way to find it and develop it is to simply practice a lot. Next question is from Laura and it's both in Spanish and English. It says, um, eres autodidacta o estudiaste algo? Tell us about your background. So Laura asks if I'm self-taught or uh, if I studied something. And um, I would answer both that yes and no, um, because I studied traditional drawing and painting at the university and before that. But all that is um, digital illustration I learned by myself. And uh, before switching to digital illustration, I, uh, my illustration uh, used to be very realistic. Uh, I did a lot of uh, nature studies and I also think there are um, great um, exercise to learn how to draw. Um, I also did a video where I talk some more about my background and becoming a freelance illustrator and I will leave a link below. Uh, next question, could you maybe talk about the business side of your life as an illustrator? How do you sustain yourself financially? Uh, I'd say that being a freelance illustrator can be tough. There are a lot of things to learn and to think about besides um, the illustration itself. And um, when it comes to the business side, I think I spend most time organizing my work, talking to clients, uh, planning the projects I want to work on. Um, and as for financial aspect, uh, at the moment, I have a few um, different revenue streams, and those are my client work and my two online stores, one uh, for the illustration and the other one uh, for my uh, jewelry brand. Uh, Carla says, uh, I'm curious about using Procreate to illustrate. I have noticed lately that a lot of the artists I admire are using it and I wonder if there is something I am missing out on. Does it have many benefits over other platforms? Um, for me, there is no uh, other app like Procreate right now, um, at least for iPad, which is what I work on now. Um, what I like most about Procreate is that it feels like drawing on paper and there is no delay between um, your hand and the brush strokes. And this is the most important thing for me. Also, it's very intuitive, professional and comfortable to use. Um, I'm also planning on trying out uh, Adobe Fresco app, just of curiosity to see how it is. Um, if you already tried it, please let me know in the comments. What do you think? The next question is from Isabel and she asks, what are your favorite sides of working as an illustrator and the least favorite, favorite things? Um, that's a nice question, thank you. 
I love that it's never boring and every project, project I work on is different and unique, uh, which makes my work really exciting. Uh, every single illustration I make um, gives me a lot of satisfaction and motivates me to create more and more. I also like a lot that I can work from anywhere and at any time, which gives me a lot of freedom. I would say that the least favorite thing for me uh, as working as a freelance illustrator is that it's very unpredictable and unstable and um, there is no way of knowing what's coming on next, especially financially. Um, it will be nice to know more about your creative and drawing process. Um, having a good idea of what I want to illustrate and how is the first and very important step for me. Um, when I work for a client, I always make um, very clear, clear sketches, but when I work on my own projects, I rarely sketch beforehand. And I'm always very collaborative with clients and I also divide my work into stages. Um, so that we can stay well communicated and control well the process. Um, I also find it really helpful to always find time for a personal project in between the client's work, uh, because I think it really helps uh, with your creativity flow. Kaya asks, um, I would like to know how you stay organized and do you use any tools, techniques to keep track of your daily tasks? Also, how do you manage and sustain a personal work-life balance? More in general, I'm interested in what inspires you, how you find your style and how it evolved, your background and what led you to become an illustrator. Um, lots of questions here, so I'll be going through them one by one. Um, I use Google Calendar to plan all my projects so I can always be sure I meet all the deadlines and at every stage I know how much work I can take on. Um, also, every day I write down um, on a piece of paper the most important uh, tasks to be completed that day, um, just not to forget about anything. Um, as for uh, work-life balance, uh, this is something that definitely needs improving. I work a lot. Uh, long hours, often on the weekends, um, but also whenever I feel like I need a break, I just take it. As for my inspiration, I'm strongly inspired by nature and I think it's also one of the components of my style. Uh, and my style is constantly evolving and changing a little bit. Um, I always knew I wanted to have a creative job, but I just wasn't um, sure what exactly would that be. Uh, so when I switched to illustration, I felt like it was a perfect match for me. Now some questions coming from my stories. Um, the first one is, how did you find your first client? Uh, my first client actually found me via Instagram. Another one, uh, and I think it's a very good one. Uh, what if a client's, client asks too many changes involving much more work hours than initially agreed? Um, I would price those hours separately. Um, I always include changes in my contract just to be uh, clear with, um, with my clients. Um, I think working together very close at the um, uh, first stages of each project um, before passing to more, more advanced uh, illustration stage uh, helps avoiding changes later on. Another question, also a very nice one, um, is how to deal with new clients contract-wise. What if a job is cancelled at a uh, middle stage? Um, I think there should be a clause in the contract considering this as well. Um, in my opinion, a good practice is to divide uh, your work and the overall fee uh, into stages. Um, that way you make sure that the artist gets, pay, uh, gets paid for the work they've already done. And um, also the client doesn't have to pay um, a lot um, 
and the whole fee up front. Do you let clients dictate style? Or do strictly only take clients that let you do your own style? Um, I never let the clients dictate style. I just assume they've chosen me because of the style that I already have. Dan asks, in what format do you showcase your work to clients? A portfolio or through Instagram Behance? Always through my website. Uh, I sometimes add my Instagram account. Um, when I get in touch with new potential clients, I like uh, attaching a couple of low resolution images of my work. Um, so they can have a look at it and don't have to actually uh, go to my website. I used to have a Behance profile at the beginning, but um, I think your own website always looks a little bit more professional. Do you have different prices for different usage rights? Uh, yes, I do. And I'm very happy you asked about it because licensing your work for its usage, uh, territory and time uh, is a very important thing for illustrators. I will have a full video uh, all about it, but you can always refer to the um, AOI website for more info on that topic. Uh, Sydney wants to know how do you promote yourself on social media? Uh, I don't. I simply post my illustrations. Uh, those are mostly my personal work. Uh, I always use hashtags and um, try to be consistent and post at least once a week. Anne is asking, how do you reach more people through social media and get attention of possible clients? Mm, I mainly, mainly use Instagram and now YouTube. The visibility of our content doesn't always depend on us. Um, but also on the algorithm behind it all. You actually never know when a future client might find and see your work, so it's actually hard to target properly your audience. A question from Maxim. How did you get all your clients? And if it's because of Insta, how did you get so many followers? Um, many of my clients did find me on Instagram, uh, some of them found me on Pinterest and um, in some cases I was the one who initiated the first contact. As for my followers, I would say um, that I just do my best to post uh, quality content. I'm uh, very responsive to all your comments and your DMs. Um, I like a lot being a part of Instagram illustration community, so I'm quite active over there. Uh, and it's as simple as that. And um, the, last, the last question for today is what are your daily inspirations and motivation? Um, I find inspiration all around me. My uh, go-to inspiration source is the nature. Um, as for the motivation, I'm mostly driven by constant improvement. Um, I love the feeling of realizing my ideas and my work brings me a lot of satisfaction. Um, also, it's my job and I want my clients to be happy with me, so it's also very motivating. That's all for today. Uh, thank you so much for your questions. It was a lot of fun to do. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And I would love if you'd subscribe uh, to my channel for more of my content. Thank you so much and see you next time. Bye bye.